Hey guys, Min here. Welcome back to your house fitness. Today we're going to go over the muscle called the coracobrachialis. It's a small muscle, uh, not often primarily trained, but does provide a lot of uh, stability to the arms and it also gives a little bit of an aesthetic appearance if you're looking for big arms. But despite it being on your arm, it doesn't function like your other flexors and extensors in the humerus. It's actually closer to a pec muscle. What we find is it originates on our coracoid process, which is a little tip here on our scapula, and then it runs down the side of our arm and attaches on the supramedial border of the humerus, fancy word for the inside front of your arms. What it does is primarily adduction. We're bringing our arms closer to the midline of the body. If I imagine a zipper coming down from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, that's our midline. And my arms are coming towards it. So any exercise that performs that adduction motion will train our core coracobrachialis, not bicep curls or hammer curls, which is what you'd expect for being located on our arms. So exercise, I really like doing it is kind of your standard chest exercises, honestly. Your push-ups are great, dips are fantastic, and if you really want to hammer in that isolation, you can do stuff like chest flies, where it's primarily adduction. This will also make sure your arms are a little bit more stable and may give you that added uh, desire in your physique as well. Some people will have really nice separation <laughs> between their biceps and their triceps by having a very visible corpobrachialis. Thank you so much for joining us today.